फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो मिस्टर डिप्टी स्पीकर सर मे आई विथ योर परमिशन इंटरवीन एंड से ए फ्यू वर्ड्स इन रिगार्ड टू दी वेरियस मैटर्स दैट हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड माई कलीग द फिनेंस मिनिस्टर हु इज इन चार्ज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर बजट विल नो डाउट डील विथ दी स्पेसिफिक मैटर्स दैट हैव बीन रेस्ड इन द कोर्स ऑफ दिस डिबेट I need hardly remind the house of the fact that although this budget is the individual responsibility of the finance minister it is also the responsibility of the entire government and as prime minister I am entirely responsible for it as well as any other member of the government this budget was placed before the house after the usual consideration by the government and the letter is completely committed to it that does not mean that we are not willing to consider any new proposal we certainly are so long as the basic structure of the budget is not affected my friend the honorable professor shah pointed out various difficulties in the way of a debate here and in the way of consideration of the budget proposals he pointed out how little could be done in the allotted time i am in complete agreement with him in this matter if there are any practical proposals which would enable us to give more time for the consideration of these problems either formally or informally i am quite sure that the finance minister will gladly consider them the real difficulty is however more basic and it is this the kind of problems which the government has to face now is so vast and intricate that it is impossible for any democratic parliamentary assembly to give enough time for its consideration it is just a question of time this is not a new difficulty i remember that long debates on this subject took place in a country like the united kingdom where they found that they could not get along with what is really the 19th century procedure in this 20th century of continuous crisis social problems and international problems so even parliamentary procedure in the united kingdom has gradually changed and many matters are left more to the committees than to the house itself usually a principle is decided by the house and its working out is left to committees the house cannot find time to consider everything that is a difficulty inherent in the situation if we can find a remedy for it it will not only be good for us but maybe we will be setting an example for other democratically inclined countries who are seeking such remedies in spite of the fact that parliament is in continuous session it is not able to find time to consider in detail all the important matters that come up we have in fact much less time because we are not in continuous session i suppose our sessions will inevitably become longer and longer so as to enable us to deal with more and more problems and have more and more discussions anyhow i have stated what the difficulty is at present though i am in sympathy with what professor shah said i have no easy remedy for that difficulty except to say that we are perfectly prepared to consider together with the honorable members of the house any ideas or suggestions about how to give greater facilities for more intensive discussion of any great problem an honorable member referred to the budget speech as being directly or indirectly a survey 
of all manner of problems domestic international economic foreign etc the house can hardly expect the finance minister's budget speech to be a survey of all these tremendous problems although they have no doubt some bearing on the budget the world is becoming far too intricate and difficult for us to be able to keep the full picture in view always as i listened to the honorable member who spoke just now i was wondering whether we had the larger picture in mind or were getting lost in few minor and secondary matters for instance having referred to the government's extravagance the honorable member went on to say certain things in regard to our bringing forward a bill for giving a pension and approach to the president that signified to me an approach which i would call 100% wrong besides i should have thought that the subject of pension for the president was hardly a matter for debate or reference here i say even if this country is starving even then you have to provide for our president the honorable member perhaps prefers starvation for the president and himself i certainly will not stand in his way but we are considering graver matters than this and the fact that such points are raised shows that we are not looking at the problems we do not seem to be thinking of the vast problems that we are faced with and have to wrestle with the vast problem of the country's economy in relation to the world's economy stop